The story of this movie is about a beautiful young woman named Yin Yang who attracts everyone's attention wherever she appears. At the beginning of the movie, we see Yin next to her friend Myun, and when Myun's boyfriend arrives and his secret conversations with Yin, we realize that he has a sinister plan. But Yin pushes him away. One day, Yian meets a fat and ugly girl and they talk. He realizes that the girl was once beautiful and fit, but over time she has lost her beauty. On the same day, Yian returns to his apartment. While we see a boy chasing her. On the other hand, Mi Yun's boyfriend intends to hurt Yian, which does not happen when the police arrive. And with Mi Yoon's boyfriend pretending to Yian's betrayal, their friendship is broken after years. At the end of one day, the same boy who was chasing Yian enters her house as a water company agent and harasses Yian, rapes her and destroys her virginity. In the end, by putting his ID card in Yian's house, he asks her to complain to the police. But Yian, who was raped, undergoes a transformation. But the aggressor boy introduces himself to the police and the police go to Yian's house. The police take Yian to the police station to file a case and find out that the rapist had already been watching her and had various videos of him in his house. Although the aggressor expresses regret, he finally says one sentence to Yian. Your beauty violated me, not me you. From now on, when Yian enters the street, everything is different for him. To the extent that he thinks of suicide, but he can't. Yian asks the police to give him the tapes they took from the rapist's house, which the police do not accept, but the officer who has saved him several times gives him a copy of the film and even takes it for himself and enjoys watching it. A thought comes to Yian's mind when he sees the fat girl he had seen and talked to before. He decides to make himself fat and ugly by overeating and consuming too much fat. But the police officer is watching him and witnesses Yian's behavior and Yian continues this behavior until he damages his health and the police officer takes him to the hospital. Yian also doubts her pregnancy, but does not say anything about this to the nurse or doctor. Yian is no longer disappointed by her obesity. That's why he decides to make himself thin and weak. In the meantime, the police officer expresses his interest in Yian and even proposes marriage. But he faces Yian's negative reaction, but he is deeply interested in her and is always thinking about her. Yian has now run out of money and is looking for a job but can't find one. As a result, he tries to get money through prostitution. But he is saved by the police officer. But Yian doesn't stop thinking about him anymore and he always sees the rapist in front of him and tries to kill him. But the rapist is actually in prison and it is Yian's fantasy that torments him and the police officer he wants to help him to kill the wanted man. But in the end, the police officer has another idea and decides to approach Yian as the aggressor and make Yian shoot him with a gun so that he imagines that he has killed the aggressor in his mind. But after Yian kills the police officer after raping him, he goes crazy on the street with a gun and shoots people and is finally killed by the police. And at the end of the movie, we see that even Yian's corpse is attractive to the hospital staff and the story of rape is endless.